What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today you can see what we're getting into. Oh my goodness. Let me tell you the story. Come along with me as we work on this 05 E450 shuttle bus. Sorry you guys. Let's go. All right, so this lovely old girl has 107,000 miles on it, and it was brought to me for the complaint of a hesitation around 60. I did verify it, and the number three cylinder was not producing any power. After completing the injector click test, I was able to find that cylinder number three injector was not responding. So we gave this guy a choice either replace the one or all on that bank and he's obviously decided to replace all of them on that bank however he did not want to use motorcraft parts he brought his own kind of bummed about that but it is what it is you gotta i don't i don't know what to tell you the guy wants to use his own parts and use his own parts can't warranty him but I'll use whatever parts you want. I figured I've done a video of replacing them on a Super Duty, but I wanted just to illustrate not how to take all this apart, but how more so to put the injector in and torque it properly. Um, and I figured if I can show you on this and you can figure it out on this, then you should have absolutely no issue completing this task on a pickup truck. So we've already got the new ones. They look pretty close to Ford Remans, but they are not. Uh, what we're going to do is, uh, you've guys seen me use this before, we're just going to go ahead and lube up all of our seals on our injectors. Make sure when you remove the old injectors that uh, the copper gasket came off with you and it's not stuck down in the bore. Additionally, I like to apply a little thin coat of oil to this blue rubber o-ring that's going through the rocker box gasket so I don't like fighting with those so what we're gonna do you see oh there we go see how it uh, we'll see how it films with the GoPro here it's the first time I'm using the GoPro to illustrate this but hopefully you guys will get the gist of it um, I've gotten everything pretty much clean I've gone ahead and installed my new standpipe already and one more point I wanted to point out to you guys. When you remove this oil log, there is a dummy plug up front. When you remove that dummy plug, make sure your O-ring does not look like that. That is going to cause you a high pressure oil leak when hot. Possibly cold too. I've had them both ways. But um, I always replace those. Part number for that dummy plug is that. And the part number for your standpipe is that. So let's get this roll in here. I want to get behind track. Go ahead and start this bad boy. All right. Here we go, guys. I'm going to grab. I'm gonna grab my first injector. This is gonna go in hole number seven. Okay, so I've done this a bunch of times. I know the orientation that these are supposed to be. Just kind of remember how you guys took it off, or took it out. Putting it down in the injector bore, and I can feel that the, the bolt is in the bolt hole. And I'm just gonna go ahead and give this and start. We are working with a T40. I have custom made this by taking, I don't know, three or not three, like, yeah, it was long, maybe like two inches off because this was an extra long one and I wanted it a specific height. So, um, go ahead and just pop your injector connector through the bore of the rocker box. And I always like to have the, I don't know if you guys can see this or not. 
I always like to have this flat spot facing out where my fingers are. So I'm pretty much just gonna go ahead and pop this through. Uh, I'm gonna have to get a pair of pliers and kind of persuade it through. But yeah, let's get on to the next one and then we'll get to the torque. Okay, I got my next injector. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in the same way. Feel the bolt hole. Start it by hand. Again, these should go in very smoothly. You should not be inhibited anyway screwing them in just work that connector up in there we got a flat side here nope orientate this correctly ah there we go okay now we're sitting like the other one Ooh, that one popped right through I think you guys could have heard that Oh, I got that one too, sweet. Okay, so the next two, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see, but uh, I'm gonna try to get this number three in from back here. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see me do number one. You should be, be able to see me. All right, you should be able to see me put number three in. Three is kind of far back from your perspective, but I feel it down in the bolt hole. I'm going to use my T40 again. I'm going to start it by hand. Again, this is the worst case scenario injector job. Uh, shuttle bus, huge alternator, double AC, um, a lot of extra electronics and what have you. So if you guys can use this as a reference when doing your super duty tell me that in the comment section below if what you guys are working on right now while you're watching this all right we got to go up and get number one let's see let's see if we can get you a, a shot of me putting number one in. got some good lighting Try to work around the camera here. If anybody's wondering, I did drain the coolant. Luckily, this thing had no AC charge in it, so I did not have to evacuate any AC. I was very thankful for that. I don't know if you guys saw me. I had to work. I had to work the injector with my thumb. It uh, wasn't sitting down in its core all the way, so I had to just give it a little nudge. We got the injector in. We just need to get the electrical connector up through there. I just dropped the rubber isolator for the radiator. So let's see if we can together and get this thing in here. Let's look for the flats. Okay. I like that right there. I'm gonna go ahead and pop it up through there. I wonder if I can do it my fingers on this one again. Like I did the other three. Ah I got it. Alright. Sweet, sweet. Okay, so right now what we're gonna do is I know what the book says and the book says not to use any air tools or power tools. I should say um, it really is all about um, how well you know your tool and I mean really how many times you've done this you guys all know when you do something repetitive and you use it every day you're gonna know and feel comfortable with your tool so what I'm gonna do if you guys don't feel comfortable comfortable with this please switch over to hand tools but I'm just using this is not an impact I'm just using a 3 8 electric Milwaukee ratchet and I'm just gonna draw, watch the injector. It's gonna draw it in. You're gonna feel the O-ring. It's starting to get hard right now. Now it's gonna sit down and crush that copper gasket. Now I know when I torque this, it's gonna be a couple of 
good pulls on the 3 8 torque wrench. It's supposed to be at 24 footies. Now what I did right here, I felt it get tighter and then it kind of stopped. Boom. It's not really going. So watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to grab my torque wrench. I've got it set to 24 footies. Now I have not went ahead and tightened this anymore. I just swapped over to my torque wrench. Now, now watch the swing that I'm still going to achieve even though I tightened it like you saw me with my 3 8 ratchet. Now watch. You see how much more I turn that? I always like to give them a snug with whatever tool that I'm using, i.e. this. I'll have to say, for um, prior to me getting any of these, um, Diesel Tech Ron is what inspired, who inspired me to start using Milwaukee uh, electric products. I never had these when I was growing up on the six liter let alone doing them in the, the, the shuttle buses and the ambulances, having the air hose be all in your way. Uh, big, big shout out to him. I think about him every time I get into an ambulance application or um, you know, if uh, I have him using a tool that I purchased uh, because of him. So big shout out to him. Hope his family's doing well. Um, RIP, brother. See you at the top. Next, number five, gonna do the same thing. Draw it down. And I'm going to use the torque wrench again. You guys can watch that injector go down. Okay, it's starting to get tight. And then it's going to bottom out now. I'll give it that extra little tug. Probably could torque these myself without using a torque wrench. But like I said, if you've never done this before, you know, you, you probably wouldn't know the the feel of what it's supposed to feel like at 24 footies. So again, I did that little that little quarter turn. I'm gonna hit it with the 3 8 torque wrench. Okay, one more, should be right here. Yep, okay, so we know five and three, I'm sorry, five and seven are good. We'll swap back over to our electrics. I'm gonna hit number three. Number three is drawn down. I think you guys can see just the top of it going down. Starting to get hard, loosened up, and then it bottomed out. Give it a little quarter turn. Switch over to the torque wrench. And send it for a genocide the rest of the way for the full send. Workplay TV up in the Great White North. Hope you guys are doing good after that hurricane coming through. Okay, we're going all the way for one. I wonder if I can get in here. I wonder if I can get in here and show you one. Okay. knuckles okay gave it that quarter turn come back down here a ratchet a torque wrench and then we're gonna go to the final torque now we're on it let me get a swing down and I feel like I'm gonna have to go hold it up front maybe not I got a good bite on it Oh yeah, okay. So everybody, I know it's kind of a pain to have seen this in an Econoline, but I wanted to illustrate to you guys how to torque your fuel injectors on your six liter. This is the same for a shuttle bus, Econoline, Super Duty, and whatever kind of configuration, even a VT365, this would be the same way and procedure. Make sure to drop through the comment section, guys. Tell me what you think. What are you guys working on? Have you guys ever had to do this? Those techs out there, I know you're watching. I got my dude in uh, west side of Michigan. Got a couple dudes in Arizona. You know who I'm talking about. You guys ever do the shuttle buses? I'm sure you guys got this stuff all around with the airports and everything near you guys. What are your tricks? I'm showing you guys, but I can't show you all of them. Make sure to like, comment, sub, share, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you next Friday. See ya.